Okay, so welcome to all of you. In the last video lecture, you have seen the integration, uh, double integration. Uh, in that, we have seen how to change the order of the integration. Okay, so just we have seen uh, there. So how to change the order of integration here? Now today we will see how to solve the problems if the function is not integrable with respect to x and integrable with respect to y. So that means what? In that problem, you need to change the order of integration. Without changing the order of integration, you cannot solve that problem. So we will see hmm, such type of the problem. So here there is a problem. What evaluate 0 to 1 e raised to uh, 0 to 1 3 y uh, to 3 e raised to x square dx dy. Now here what e raised to x square. So we want to these are the limits of x. So we want to integrate e raised to x square uh, with the uh, with respect to x first, and then we have to integrate with respect to y. But here e raised to x square is not integrable with respect to x. Okay. So now only the problem what you have the command is not equal to you that what uh, change by changing the order of integration or this one. So if it is given or not given, so you need to change the order of integration. Without changing the order of integration, you cannot solve this problem. So what do we do? We first change the order of integration because this function is easily integrable with respect to y. So what do we do? We will integrate, uh, we, we, first we will change the order of integration and then we will evaluate this. Okay. So solution. Solution. Let. We will write this let i is equal to this. Okay. So now what? We will change. We will change. The order of the order of integration. The order of integration. So the see this limits of x. So limits of x. Limits, these are the limits of x. What? 3y less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. So limits of limits of y. Limits of y what? 0 less than equal to y less than equal to 1. Okay. The region is bounded by the region is bounded by bounded by so what x is equal to 3y x is equal to 3 y is equal to 0 y is equal to 1. Okay. So we draw the region first. Okay. We will draw the region first. So this is your origin this is your x axis this is your y axis. So first we will write the complicated uh, uh, graph, uh, graph of the complicated function. So now only here what x is equal to 3y is the complicated. So this line is passing through origin, just we will write this line this as passing through the origin. Okay. So note that we do not bisect the first quadrant as a third quadrant. Just write, uh, just draw the uh, line passing through origin this. So this is what x is equal to 3y. Okay, then we will write x is equal to 3 now. This will be your x is equal to 3. This is the line parallel to y axis. Okay. So now we will find this point. Your x is 3 here and your y is what? 9. Your 9. Then y is equal to 0 is the x axis. Then y is equal to 1. Then y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1. y is equal to 1 is here. This is y is equal to 9 here. So y is equal to 1 somewhere here. So we will draw this line. So this line is what? y is equal to 1. So what is this point then? This is what? y is equal to 1 here. Right? So then here x is what? x is 3 here. So 3, 1. This point is what? This is what here? Uh, y is equal to 1 here. Okay? Now x is what here? You have to, this is the point of intersection of these two. Right? Put y is equal to 1. So this point is what? 3, 1. So oh, how is this? 3, 1. So if y is equal to so x is equal to 3 here. So here is wrong actually. x is equal to 3, we have plot here, y is equal to 1, okay, so x is 3 here, oh, x is 3, so this is what, oh, this is wrong here, y is 9, x is 3 now, so value of x is 3 here, so that means value of y is 1, okay, 
So we have to take the care of this one. Okay. Now y is equal to one. This line there, y is equal to one. Okay. So if you make mistake somewhere, you will not get the correct region now. Okay. Now see which is your region? This or this now? Okay. Now see what is your y is equal to zero means this, right? So y is equal to zero. See this point. So your arrow check for this. So this and this also, right? And this also. Okay. Now this will be your region. This will be your region. We check our region is correct or not. So this also, this also the your region. Okay. So we check well, which region is correct or not. Okay. So first of all, how to check the region is correct or not? Okay. Now see, this is the limits of x now. This is limits of x. That means here your strip is parallel to x-axis. These, these, are, these are the limits of x. That means your strip is parallel to x-axis. So if strip is parallel to x-axis, then your lower limit is 3y. That means your left limit, left is what? The line x is equal to 3y. See here. If you see this region, right? See here. So your value of y, your limit of y is what? 0 to 1. And this is what? Uh, x uh, from the left curve and x from the right curve. So that means what? This is your region. So whatever this is drawn the region, it was correct. So this will be your region. Okay. So actually what? There are two here. So we have to take the care of this one with the help of your origin or uh, original problem. Okay. So now the strip is parallel to x-axis in the problem. So now our we want to change the order of integration. Our strip should be parallel to y-axis. So we'll draw the strip parallel to x-axis. Now here we are not saying that because what we have lot of work now here so we are not saying that we draw in order to change the draw strip parallel to y axis and so on we are not saying that this okay so then the given integral we carry write this the given integral the given integral given integral can be written as can be written as r is equal to i write here r is equal to integration now your strip is parallel to y axis, we will write the limit of x. So limit of x is what? 0 to 3. 0 to 3. Then we will write limits of y. y from the lower curve, y from the upper curve. y from the lower curve is 0 and y from the upper curve is x by 3. x by 3. E raised to x square dy dx. Now we will this integral. We will value this integral and our problem will be over then. Okay. We will solve this integration. So this is equal to this is equal to so 0 to 3 will be added this. Okay. So e raised to x square is constant. So e raised to x square will be added this. Constant times y. 0 to x by 3 dx. If you put uh, y is equal to 0, that is the lower limit, everything is 0. So only we have to put the upper limit. So this is what 0 to 3 e raised to x square into x by 3 dx. Okay, I will take 1 by 3 outside. So this is x, e raised to x square, this is 0 to 3 dx. Now see, you know that this will apply this what f dash x e to the power f dash x e is equal to e raised to f of x. Okay, so if you have function like this f dash x e to the power f of x dx, then your integration is what? Just e to the power f of x. So here what? e raised to x square is there. So derivative of x square is what? Twice x. 2 is not there, we will manage this 2. This is what? We we'll write 1 by 6, 0 to 3. So this is what? Twice x e raised to x square dx. Right? So now this is of the form e raised to f of x into f dash x. Okay? So we can directly integrate this is what? 1 by 6 as it is. So this is what? e raised to x square and this is what? 0 to 3. Okay? So this is what? 1 by 6, 1 by 6, 1 by 6. e raised to 9 minus 1. So this is your required answer. This is your required answer. Okay. We'll solve the next problem. We'll solve this problem. So or evaluate. Evaluate integration from 0 to root pi integration from y to root pi root pi 
cos of x square dx dy. Again, see that here. This is cos of x square. This is what quadratic equation I have, quadratic expression actually. So cos of the linear is integrable. So now here what? So I'll also cos of if suppose like this is what you given. You can manage this f of x cos of f of x, right? So this is just as cos of x. This is just a cos of x and integration of cos of x is what sine of f of x. So it just it is equal to sine of f of x. But this is not of the form for x square. Derivative of x square is twice x. Forget about two. But x dx is not there. So that means what here? That means what cos of x square is not integrable with respect to x, right? So this function is integrable with respect to y now. So that means what we must have to change the order of integration. Okay. So we we'll write this in let r is equal to this. Okay. So we we'll write just first we will change we will change the order of the order of integration order of the integration. Okay. The region of the integration the region of the integration is bounded by is bounded by bounded by so these are the limits of these are the limits of y so bounded by y is equal to 0 y is equal to root 5 x is equal to 5 uh, x is equal to y and x is equal to root 5 okay so we draw the region very simple region so we draw that we we'll take the care of the intersection now so now this is what x is equal to y just we draw x is equal to y Okay, so this is your both this, this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. It is bisect. Okay, so this is x equal to y. Just to be right, uh, root pi. Okay, so this will be root pi then. This is what y is equal to root pi. So what is this point then? This point is root pi, root pi. Because what? Here what? x is equal to y. Now x is equal to y is already wrong. x is equal to root pi. Now this will be x is equal to root pi. This will be x is equal to root pi. Root pi. Now we have to see the region now. So region is what here? Lower limit is what here? Here, here the strip. Huh? In the problem, that strip is parallel to x-axis. So strip is parallel to x-axis and see where the left x, uh, x is equal to y. So your left is y here then. If you take this region, your left is what here? Left limit of the x is what here? Uh, y is equal to 0. So this is not 0. This is y. So that means what see here, see here y y root pi now here the limit of x is what y to root pi that means this region is our the region of the integration right so yeah, in the problem the strip is parallel to x axis so we want to change the order of integration so our strip should be the parallel to y axis we we'll draw strip parallel to the y axis now everywhere you can, anywhere you can draw this it is from this to line to this line here you have to take the care of also that right? in some problem what so the curve will be changed now here, right? Upper curve or lower curve will be changed here. Okay. So now here the given integral can be written as the given integral can be written as written as r is equal to integration. Okay. So limits of y is root pi, zero to root pi, and limits of Oh, limits of x are 0 to root pi here. Limits of y, y from the lower curve. So, it is the y in lower, lower curve is what? It is what? Uh, 0 here. So, y is equal to 0 on lower curve. So, y from here is 0 to x. So, cos of x square. Cos of x square dy dx. Okay. So, now see here. No need of this now. Okay. So, only the figure you need to change. If you got the limits of x and y. So then, that, then your figure is just now here. Okay, now we will integrate this. So now this is cos of x square. It is constant function because we are integrating with respect to y. So r is equal to integration from 0 to root pi. 0 to root pi. So this is what? Cos of x square into y 0 to x dy. Okay, so if you put y is equal to 0. So if you put the lower limit, huh? so that means what it will be 0. So only I have to put the upper limit now here, but 0 to root pi. 
so this is what cos of x square into x eating oh here dx eating x okay now see here this is cos of x square so this is all in cos of f of x so if the angle is complicated you have to give the substitution to the angle so your x square is complicated here <coughs> so you have to give the substitution to the x square but see derivative of x square is what twice x <coughs> easily you can manage this what this is what 0 to root 5 twice x into cos of x square dx so we we'll use this formula integration of f prime x into cos of f of x dx is same as just integration of cos integration of cos is sin sin of f of x uh, uh, here actually in the formula we we'll write here plus c but uh, if there are finite uh, finite integration we are not writing c here okay so for finite integration so this is one half so this is what cos of x square 0 to root 5 okay so this is one half so cos 5 minus 1 so upper if you put upper limit so cos 5 minus 1 minus cos of 0 is 1 so this is minus 1 so this is <coughs> minus 1 oh this is what Integration not cos. This is integration of sine. This is sine. This is sine of x square. Okay. Because we are integrating cos. Formula is what? Cos integration of cos is sine now here. So this is what? Uh, sine pi is 0. Sine 0 is 0. So this will be what? 0. Because sine of pi is 0. Sine 0 is also 0. So value of this integration is 0. Okay. Very simple problem. Okay. So when it is simple, if you can draw the region, then the problem is easy now. So only the crucial part is what? To draw the region and to change the order of the integration to take a proper limit of x and y. Okay. So we'll take the next problem. Evaluate. Evaluate. Integration from 0 to 1. x to 1. e raised to x y y dy dx. Okay, now the problem is evaluate this. E raised to x by y. We have to integrate with respect to y now here. E raised to x by y. Now see that this function, this function, the 1 by y is there. And E raised to 1 by y, this is not integrable. E raised to 1 by, forget about x, x is constant, no problem here. Okay, so E raised to 1 by 9, E raised to 1 by y is not. But E raised to x by y, this is integrable with respect to x. So what is the integration of this? e raised to x by y upon coefficient of x is y, right? 1 upon y. So that means what here? e raised to x by y is integrable with respect to x. So this is not integrable with respect to y. And here we have to integrate with respect to y first. Okay? So that means what here? This is the problem of to change the order of integration. So what we do? We first change the order of integration and then we can solve it. Okay? So this is what? e raised to x by y. So solution, let i is equal to this, okay, solution, let i is equal to this, we will change, first, we will change, change the order of integration, order of integration, okay, so the region is, the region of integration is bounded by is bounded by so these are the limits of x now so x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 y is equal to x y is equal to 1 ok so we draw the region we draw the region so note that here this is the limits of y that means their strip is parallel to y axis ok so x is equal to y first we will draw this line x is equal to y this time is x is equal to y. This is your x axis. This is your origin. This is your y axis. Okay. Then we will draw the x is equal to 1 line. Okay. So don't uh, draw directly y is equal to 1. First find a point of intersection of these two lines. So this is what? 1, 1. So x is equal to 1. Now you have to draw the line y is equal to 1. So this is what? Line y is equal to 1 passing through where y is equal to 1. So this is the line passing through this. Okay. So this is y is equal to 1 here. Okay. Okay, so because y is 1 here. Okay. Uh, now see your region. The, the strip is parallel to x axis. 
fell into y-axis and the lower limit is on the line. So we, now this, this, there are two regions now here. Now see the lower limit is what? Your strip is parallel to x-axis. Parallel to y-axis. Now see this, for this strip, if you draw this strip, so then your lower limit is what? Zero. So your lower, lower limit will not be a, x now usually. So here what? If you draw uh, this region, see here, this. Now see here, lower limit is what? x now and upper limit is y is equal to 1. So that means this is your correct region. Okay. So this will be your required region. This will be your required region. Okay. So now we have to change the order of integration. So that means what? The strip is parallel to uh, y axis. So our strip should be parallel to x axis here. We we'll draw strip parallel to x axis. We we'll draw strip parallel to x axis. Okay. So now our integral can be written as the integral can be written as i is equal to. So your strip is parallel to x axis. So you have to write the limits of limits of y first. So limit of y is what? 0 to 1. 0 to 1. Limits of y 0 to 1. Then limits of x. x from the left curve and x from the right curve. x from the left curve is what? 0. Because it is on y axis. On y axis your y x is 0. And x from the right curve is y. And your function is what? E raised to x by y dx dy. Okay. Now this is easily integrable with respect to x now. Okay. So this is what? E raised to y e raised to y, x by y upon 1 by y. 1 by y. This is what? 0 to y dy. 0 to y dy. Okay. So we write here. 0 to 1. Okay. So uh, first we will simplify this. This is what y e raised to x by y 0 1 dy. Okay. So we will put the we will put uh, upper limit. So if you put upper limit so I will put here upper limit. x is equal to y you have to put. So this is y e minus oh this is what minus we will put a lower limit is 0 e raised to 0 is 1 so this is y this is y and this is what dy so what we get now here i can take y common here if i take y common then i get e minus 1 y dy e minus 1 y dy so we will integrate this this is what e minus 1 y so this is y square by 2 y square by 2 0 to 1 if you put 0 so this is 0, you have to put only y is equal to 1. So this is what e minus 1 upon 2 is your required answer. This is your required answer. Okay. So we'll take the next problem. Solve. Solve or evaluate. This is not solve actually. Evaluate. Evaluate. Integration from 0 to 8 cube root of y to 2 e raised to x to the power 4 dx dy dx dy. So now see here. Here also see that e raised to x4 is there. Because we want to integrate this with respect to x now, and e raised to x4 is not integrable. Right? So now this is easily integrable with respect to y because this is a constant function, right? That means what we have to change the order of the integration. That means we have to change these two places, dy dx, right? So we have to change the order of integration. We will change the order of integration. Okay, solution. Solution. Let r is equal to this. Okay, so we will change. We will change the order of integration integration we will change the order of integration ok the region of the integration the region of integration is bounded by is bounded by bounded by so these are the limits of y now and these are the limits of x now so bounded by y is equal to 0 y is equal to 8 uh, x is equal to cube root of y uh, x is equal to 2 now. ok so this is what this is what x cube is equal to y 
Okay, we will draw this figure now. X cube is equal to y. Okay, so this is y axis. This is x axis. We'll see how. This is what if you put x is equal to minus one, value of y is also minus one. That means what your graph is in the second, uh, third quadrant and the hmm, first quadrant. Okay, if you put x is equal to one, we get y is equal to one. See, if you put x is equal to one, y is equal to one. If you put x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. Constant term is absent. That means the graph is passing through this. If you put x is equal to two, so now see here the graph is increasing now here. So that means your graph is just like this. Your graph is just like this, just like as a parabola. And then here the graph is like this. Graph is like this. We are not interested in this part now. Okay, now when this is your x cube is equal to y now. Okay, so now we we'll draw x is equal to two. Okay, so this is x is equal to right. Before draw this line, y is equal to it. What we will find this now? Your two is here. Your x is what here? Two. So you have find the value of y now. So your value is y is equal to eight now. Okay. So now we we'll draw this. Either way, either draw the y is equal to eight or x is equal to one of these two lines. First you we'll draw. First find the point of intersection and then draw these lines. Right. So we have to plot first y x is equal to two. Now y is equal to eight. That means what? The line passing through this. Your y is equal to eight. That means your y is equal to eight line passing through this one. Okay, so first if you draw this line y is equal to eight first, then find a point of intersection. Your x will be two. Then you have to draw the line x is equal to your line is equal like this. Okay, so now see here, these are the limits of x. That means your strip is parallel to x axis. So these two now here, which you have to take. So now see your lower limit is what? Your limit is lower limit is on the huh? that curve. This x cube is equal to one. So see here, that means your left limit. Is on the curve. So see this part here. So your left limit is on the uh, this curve, right? And right limit is what? X is equal to is there. That means this is your region. So we draw this region. So this is our required region. This is our region of the region. Not required actually. This is given region. Okay. So now, now, so in order to change the order of integration, this strip, this strip is there. Huh? Strip is parallel to x-axis. Our strip should be the parallel to y-axis. Okay, so we draw strip parallel to y-axis. So to strip draw strip parallel, that means what? These limits are variable. That is the functions of uh, y here. These are the functions of x here. Okay, so then your i is equal to. So uh, strip parallel to y-axis, you have to write the limits of x first. That is what zero to one. Your x lies between these two lines, right? So that means this is what. Zero to two. Okay. Y from the lower curve. Y from the lower curve is zero. Y from the lower curve is zero. Okay. And y from the upper curve is x cube. X cube. D raised to x to the power four. Dy dx. Integrate this. So this is what zero to two. D raised to x to the power four. Y uh, zero to x cube. Dx. So if you put the lower limit, it is zero then. So this is what. X cube e raised to x to the power four dx now. Now see x to the power four is there, and what is the limit of x to the power four? X cube is also there, right? So only what four is there? Four is not there. We we'll manage four now. We can manage the four. How we can write this one? One by four, zero to two. You can manage four. X cube e raised to x to the power four dx. So we we'll use this formula. What f dash x e raised to f of x. dx is equal to e raised to f of x. Okay, so we apply that formula. So that means what here then one by four. So this is what just e raised to x to the power four zero to two. So this is one by four. If you put x is equal to two, two raised to four is sixteen. So this is e raised to sixteen. If you put x is equal to zero, then this is one. So this is what one by four e raised to sixteen minus one. This is your required answer. Next, we'll take next problem. Change the order of change the order of order of the integration integration 
माइनस टू टू फोर वाई स्क्वायर बाय टू माइनस थ्री वाई प्लस वन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाय एफ ऑफ एक्स वाय डी एक्स डी वाय ओके नाउ यर व्हाट ओनली वेर टू चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन दैट इज वेट वेर टू ड्रॉ द रीजन द स्ट्रीप इज पैरल टू एक्स एक्सिस You have to draw the strip parallel to y axis. These are the limits of uh, x now, right? That means your strip is parallel to x axis, right? So if these are the limits of y, then these are the, the your strip is parallel to y axis. So here the their uh, uh, their strip is parallel to x axis. So our strip should be the parallel to y axis. Our strip parallel. Okay. So solution. Let r e be equal to this. Let i be equal to this. Okay. The region of the integration, the region of the integration is bounded by is bounded by bounded by. These are the limits of y now. Y is equal to minus two. Y is equal to four. X is equal to y square by two minus three. X is equal to y plus one. Now these two curves are complicated. We we will draw these two complicated curve first. So we simplify this. This is what then x is equal to this. So I can write this is what y square is equal to. This is what twice x, twice x. So I can write this one. Okay. So just we'll write this is what twice x, uh, twice uh, twice x. You have to multiply by two now here. Okay. So this is what first we will shift uh, three and then we will multiply by two now. So this is what then twice x plus three. This is very simple. First we have to uh, shift three and then we have to shift two now. Okay. So x is equal to y plus one. So what we do? We have to draw these two curves first because these two curves are complicated. So what we do? So we we'll write uh, we we'll find first point of intersection. So value of x is what y plus one. We we'll directly put value of uh, x here now. So this is what y is equal to twice. Your x is what y plus one. So y plus four here. Y plus four here, right? X plus three is so Y plus four here. So this is what Y square minus twice Y minus eight is equal to zero. Okay. So find out the roots of this one. Okay. So here what the product is minus eight. Product is minus eight and sum is minus two. Okay. So that means what here uh, end point position is same. This is what uh, the product is minus eight means minus four and two minus four and two. Right, so this will what then y minus four, y minus four, y plus two now, y plus two. Right, so y minus four. What coefficient of y square is what directly you can write this factor. So see here y square um, twice y minus four y. So we get this. So y is equal to what four and minus two then. Y is equal to four and minus two. So y is equal to four. Y is equal to four. Imply that x is equal to. With the help of this one. You got the value of y, right? So with the help of this one, you must have to find the value of x then. So your x is five now. Your x is five. If your y is two, then your x is what? Minus one. So the point of intersection is what? So this is what five four, and this is what minus one minus two. These are the point of intersection. Okay. These are the point of intersection. Okay, so we we'll draw the figure. Okay, so now we we'll draw this. Now first we we'll draw. Now this is the parabola. This is the parabola. Whose vertex is? See, this is what y minus zero square e is equal to into x minus of minus three, right? X minus of minus three. So this is the parabola. Vertex is what zero uh, three zero. Vertex is minus three zero. Your vertex is minus three zero. That means what? Here minus three zero. So this is what minus three zero. So we write this is y axis. This is x axis. This is all zero. Right? So now see this parabola where it intersect x axis and where it intersect y axis. Okay? So to my this is your parabola. Okay? Where it intersect to the y axis now. To y where it so for uh, y intersect for y intersect. You have to put x is equal to zero. If you put x is equal to zero here, then y square is equal to y square is equal to y square is equal to what here? X is equal to zero. Then y y square is equal to six now. 
y square is equal to 6. Okay, so y is equal to 6, no y is equal to so go the root of this one. Okay, so we can draw directly this word parabola like this. Okay, we we'll draw this parabola, whatever this may be. Okay, so this parabola is what? y square is equal to 2 into x plus 2. Intersect to both the x's now here, what? y square is equal to plus or minus, that means it intersect uh, negative x axis and you get the y axis and negative x axis. Okay, now then. We we'll draw this uh, first. Uh, this line we we'll draw. X is equal to y plus one. Okay. X is equal to y plus one. Now this intersect five four. Somewhere here what? Uh, X is equal to five here and y is equal to four. But this is not y is equal to four now. This is y is equal to uh, root of six. So it will be somewhere here now. Okay. Now this line is not passing through origin now. Now where this line comes to the y uh, y axis? If you put y is equal to uh, x is equal to 0 then y is equal to minus 1 so your minus 1 is here this line okay so that means what uh, and this what minus 1 minus 2 that means what here your line is like this your line is like this okay so this is your point is what this point is 5 4 this point is 5 4 and this point is what minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 okay now you have to write this y is equal to minus 2 line. Y is equal to minus 2. So this y is equal to minus 2 here. You have to draw this line. Right? This line is your y is equal to minus 2. You have to plot these two lines. Okay. Now you have to plot the y is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 4 again. This line is y is equal to 4. So this is your line. Okay. Now note that this part, uh, this is what? So here what? Your graph of this. So we we'll draw this line. Okay. So this line is what? Y is equal to 4. And this is what? This is your graph. Okay. Now, see here. If you draw strip parallel to x-axis, if you draw strip parallel to x, that strip is parallel to x-axis. See here, everywhere. This is what? And this is what? Limits of this is y are what? Minor. Uh, limits of this is what? Uh, limits of y are what? Here, minus 3 to minus 3 to 4. Is it correct? Minus 2 to 4. Ah, these are the limits of 1. Minus 2 to 4. So this is 0 now here. Wow, value of y. Y is y. Y from here what? Minus 2 to minus 2 to 4 now here. Y is y lies between these two, right? Y is minus 2 and 4. So this region is correct now. Okay. So now what we we draw our region. This is our region. This will be our region of the integration. Okay. This is our region of the integration. Now. See here, our strip should be the parallel to, their strip is parallel to x axis. Our strip should be the parallel to x axis. So now see here, if you draw strip parallel to here, here, this strip is parallel to here. See this what, this parabola to parabola here. But if you draw strip parallel to here, if you draw strip parallel to here, then it will be from line to parabola. So that means what? For here, see here, we will draw, we will write this zigzag hmm? so that you will understand this one. For here. So from to left of this, this curve is what? Uh, x is equal to minus 2. This curve is what? I will write this. This is what? A straight line actually. For your understanding, I am writing, drawing this like this. For x is equal to minus 2 here. So see, for x is equal to x uh, less than minus 2. Then your uh, strip parallel to y axis will be what? Parabola to parabola. And for right to the line x is equal to minus 2, your strip, is, uh, strip parallel to y axis is what? Uh, from line to parabola. That means what here? Your region of the integration is divided into two parts. We will name this one. Okay? So this is your O. Okay? So I will write this is what? A 
this I write this B, this will be the C, uh, this, this point of interview. I write this is C, okay, A, B, C. Uh, so this will be your D now, A, B, C, D. Right? So here, A, B, C. So therefore, I is equal to in the double integration over what? A, so then B, C, A, A, B, C, A, F of X, Y. So here we may write here dx dy doesn't matter. Okay, plus double integral over. Now this is what a c d a integral right? A uh, a c d a a c d a f of x y dx dy. Okay, now doesn't matter here. You may write dy dx dy doesn't matter here. Okay, so now a b c a now a b c a this for this region right? for this region. What are the limits of this? You have to draw the strip parallel to x axis. That means you have to write the limits of y then, uh, limits of x. So x is your minus 3 to my, minus x is your what? This will be minus 1. Okay. This point is minus 1, 2. So these are the limits of x is what? Minus 3 to minus 1. Minus 3 to minus 1. Limits of Minus 3 to minus 1. Okay. And the limits of y now. Y from the lower curve. Y from the lower curve. So y from the lower curve actually what is the y square is equal to 2 into x plus 3. Right? Y. Okay. So y is equal to what then? So here what? Plus or minus then. Right? So y is what? Plus or minus root of this. Well, same here what? Parabola to parabola. So y is here what? Minus root of. I will multiply by 2 there. That means what? Twice x plus 6. And this is what? Twice x plus 6. F of x, y. Function is not given. And these are the limit function of x. That means these are the limits of y. So this is limit of x. Plus. Now here. Here from here. What? Minus 1 to. Minus 1 to your x is what? Here 5. So this is what? Minus 1 to 5. Then what? Y from the lower curve. So what is the equation of the line? What is the equation of that line? Y is equal to what? So I have not written the line equation of that. Is what y is equal to what is that? x is equal to y plus one. X is equal to y plus one is the equation of that line. Okay. So that means what then y from the lower curve is x minus one, x minus one, and y from the upper curve is same here. What root of twice x plus six. F of x y d y d x e y dx. Okay, so this will be your okay. So this is the solution. You have to take the care here. Okay, to draw the figure. Okay, so I hope that you understand this. Okay, so now here what uh, problem was only what your function is not given. Right? Actually, the problem was become so very complicated because of the what. Here, that uh, here what is the, uh, the region of the integration is divided. So, but it may happen that your region of the integration is divided into three, four, three part, four part, and so on. You have to take the care of that one. Okay. So, here what for the line x is equal to minus one because of the line x is equal to minus one, your region of the integration is divided into two parts. Okay. So, you have to take the care of this one. I hope that you understand all the things. Okay. So, the problem is what you how to draw the uh, diagrams uh, uh, for that is what how to plot a curve these curves are very important okay so i i told you how to draw the curves right so uh, uh, so you should try for all the problems which are solved here independently you have to solve these problems okay so that you will uh, you will understand the solutions of the all the problems and you can solve the problems independently okay so we will stop here thank you